Welcome back to wagertalk.com. I'm Marco D'Angelo, joined in studio by Brian Leonard, also of wagertalk.com. Brian, Monday Night Football, we got Miami traveling to play the New York Jets. This is going to be Miami's third road game in four weeks. Not a great situation for them. Also, not a great situation, the fact that they went to Denver last week and did everything but win the game. They led Denver for three and a half quarters, and I'm talking comfortable margin most of the game. Denver, as Peyton has done so many times, rallied, took the few point lead, uh, I think it was, uh, they had the four point lead, and then interception, guy runs it back deep, they punch it in and it's an 11 point game. And I wasn't a happy camper at that moment with uh, Miami. I thought we were dead, but they were able to go down and get the back door cover a game that they led the whole, you know, the whole way to the spread. But does Miami pick themselves up after a loss like that? I think they do. I mean, this, this team's still alive for a wild card. Probably not very much alive. But this is a good football team that their record doesn't show. Yeah. Uh, I talked about in the other video of San Francisco, a team that I don't think is that good of a football team, but they've got a good record. So that's where you take a little bit of an advantage. Now, the only down spot is they're playing the Jets. And the Jets are not a good football team, and I don't think there's anybody out there that could tell you that they're a good football team. They were good to us a couple of weeks ago when they played Pittsburgh, but you will find most of the time a bad football team is going to be a bad football team. And how did we end up with the New York Jets on Monday Night Football two weeks in a row? Yeah, well, the first one wasn't by design. Um, I got to say, and this is the only thing, and first let me preface it by saying this has been a season that the bad teams have just continued to play bad and the good teams have continued to dominate. Um, generally, when that happens in the NFL, it's not good for our style of handicapping because we are looking for value all mm -hmm. the time and they can't make enough value on some of these teams. They just keep getting drilled. But I will say from past history, and I'm talking, I've been doing this for 35 years, when you have a garbage team like the Jets, if they're ever gonna show up for a game, it's gonna be one of two types of games. It's gonna be a division rivalry where they're trying to play spoiler, or it's gonna be a nationally televised game. This is a nationally televised game Monday night. If they have anything left in the tank, they're gonna bring it. But let's face the facts. Rex Ryan, he's a dead man walking. There's no way that he comes back next year. The team knows that. They're moving quarterback in and out. You know, is Geno Smith the quarterback of the future or not? He got benched. They went to Michael Vick. Nothing happened. Vick got the win against the Steelers in a good spot mm -hmm. to go against the Steelers. He hasn't done anything really productive-wise. They had to go back to Geno Smith last week, second half of the game. Where's this team going? Yeah, traditionally your handicapping would be those spots and you'd want to play the Jets here off an embarrassment. I don't think this team has a lot of character. Uh, I know it has a lot of characters yeah. uh, <laughs> from the head coach down, but I think it's to the point now where they may have thrown in the towel. Now, I will give you credit. They will, you would think they would come out with a great game here on Monday Night Football, but is their great game enough? Now, in the future, <laughs> I want no, no part of the Jets. But I will play Miami in this game just because I just think different class, different class here. Uh, and Miami's a lot better than what their record is. And they are still in contention. They can still go to the playoffs. This is a good football team. The Jets, not a good football team. So I'm going to buck traditional handicapping and just say I don't want any part of the Jets in this game. Yeah, and there's different ways to skin a cat, so to yes. speak. And one plan of attack possibly in this game, and, and I, you know, I can't disagree with you, I'm not going to agree with you either about Miami just because of that factor of the Jets, maybe they rally because of the TV, but do you maybe look at the Jets for a first quarter play possibly? Because if they're going to come out, you would think they're going to be fired up at the beginning of the game, and as you've said so many times before, in-game wagering, what happens with these teams that are bad, they may come out of the gate all fired up and trying to get it done, and then something bad happens where good teams overcome it. When a bad team, if a turnover happens, then it seems to sometimes snowball. You know, maybe make a play on the Jets in the first quarter, 
watch in game. If something goes bad and you see the writing on the wall, so to speak, you can come in game and say they're just, you know, when it happens, it's going to happen bad, and then they're just going to get blown out later. Another way to look at this game is because Miami had a substantial lead last week and gave it up. If Miami can run up a score, I think they will continue to try to score. And it's interesting you use the phrase uh, more than one way to skin a cat. Mm -hmm. I always think about, for a little off topic here, <laughs> I always think about foreigners coming to the United States. We've got all the you know, driveways and parkways are totally different, yeah. all that stuff. How did we ever come up with more than one way to skin a cat? They're coming here to go, who's skinning cats in the United States? Yeah, Pete will be <laughs> calling on our videos. Uh, so your official play is Miami? My play is Miami, and I would recommend playing it early because the, the, public, only gonna the public's going to get involved with this. It wouldn't surprise me if it gets to seven. Okay. All right. He says it's taking Miami Dolphins. Lay the points on Monday night. If it's Monday, you know what that means. Tuesday, $2 Tuesday. Check out wagertalk.com Tuesday morning. Find out which capper we have picked to be the $2 capper. Every Tuesday, we're going to get one capper, have him give you his best bet on Tuesday, and it's only $2. Check it out this week on $2 Tuesday at wagertalk.com. All right, guys, that's it for this week. On behalf of Brian Leonard, myself, and the entire staff at wagertalk.com, I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. Eat a lot of turkey. Be safe. A lot of winners. We'll talk to you next week.